what we really kind of focus on is kind of uh, forms of interventions in the existing build fabric. Um, with adaptive reuse kind of as a focus, and my own research, my own interest is really in forms of change in that and forms of interventions within that existing build fabric. Uh, so that studio is an advanced uh, uh, studio, which I also like to call a research studio, because I really kind of push and press uh, different forms of research very hard in the studio. Uh, it's called prosthetic for interiority, um, looking at the idea of using prosthetic devices uh, as a form of giving something back to a building that it never had or lost. Um, um, in the forms of, if you kind of look at the origin of the word prosthetic, it's really about uh, uh, something powerful, something that is missing, something that gives additional kind of uh, strengths. And it's really kind of thinking about prosthetics for the built space, inter interacting with the human being. So we're really the human being at the center, that's why the yeah, focus is interiority, which we have a lot of uh, time, or really have a lot of time to discuss of what that means, um, and how kind of new prosthetic devices could uh, inform um, uh, a space. Um, this is uh, just a screenshot of the website for the studio, and uh, uh, one thing which I need to point out, uh, in the architecture we have a studio schedule which is on Tuesday and Thursday, and it really starts at 10 in the morning um, until 5 in the evening, or almost 6 in the evening. I am happy to discuss with the entire studio group when it's formed, kind of, can be shortened the lunch break, but I am not. Uh, able to discuss uh, Tuesday and Thursday as a, as a video provider. Um, so looking at the human body in relationship to a form of a device, a machine, in relationship again to architecture and space, and, and how such kind of uh, relationship kind of uh, can appear. Um, to go beyond prosthetic device, to look in kind of what does it mean to be a cyborg or what a cyborg kind of uh, uh, forms. I'm um, very excited about the new uh, Blade Runner coming up in September. I hope we got everybody. But also very interested in the definition of Donna Haraway, uh, um, who defined uh, um, the, the term cyborg as, a, as the concept of uh, rejection of rigid boundaries and uh, separation of, uh, she talked about as a feminist uh, human and, uh, and, 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 and animal, but also man. Woman and any form of kind of boundaries. Um, there are kind of uh, some investigations, kind of in theory, uh, which we're going through. Uh, what does it mean, body in space? Um, the old kind of concept of senses that we appreciate architecture with our eyes and maybe with our ears, but uh, some of the neurologists kind of talk about nine senses or 21 senses or is 31 senses that we actually really impact with space. Uh, just basic a uh, body and prosthetics, and cybers, and when we understand, when we have a building as a body, and then into this body we intervene with uh, uh, prosthetics. Um, interiority uh, is a subject I work a lot, um, which is very little understood, I think, uh, and obviously refers to many other ideas in, in, in life. But this is really kind of uh, kind of. Uh, uh, a central part of the studio also. And then uh, we kind of do kind of uh, research on, 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 uh, on work that exists. I just uh, quickly go by. And when I talk about research, there will be two bigger research components. So there will be, a, uh, after a series of assignments, there will be one project, which is a very a short three, four week project, which is um, where we kind of uh, look at research as design through research. So. Um, it's not a formal design process where we do research in order to know what we do next, but it's really kind of looking at a bigger idea uh, to formulate something that we don't know, hopefully some form of prosthetic device. And then the last six weeks of the studio, it's then research through design where we actually kind of uh, um, take an existing building site that is free of discussion, but I have some suggestions. Um, and the design process is then kind of going along with the formal design and implementing research as kind of uh, informing the design. So uh, forms of uh, pro prosthetic or cy cyborg kind of intervention could be how to better represent, communicate, and mediate. This first one is actually a building I worked on. 
of UN Studio uh, to rehabilitate and restore, to reconfigure, to transform, also to normalize, particularly when you think about normalizing in time. To enhance something, it's very obvious with most of the new cyborgic and, and prosthetic kind of thing is to enhance something, uh, but also to adapt, to expand on something, and to react in that. Um, so these are four starting points of uh, the second project. Um, one is the night campus. Um, and as you think I know, I'm a, a big kind of critic on modern architecture, and uh, particular kind of buildings like this, which I love, but and the interior they have really kind of deficiencies. So kind of working with two faculty there to kind of uh, select a place within the night campus. And these are all choices. The other one is uh, 180 George Street. Um, signed by Philip Johnson, um, which houses the yurt, and we are invited with a small group to kind of make the installation kind of part uh, within the yurt. Uh, if you don't know what the yurt is, it's kind of a fancy uh, three-dimensional digital space where you can project. So this is my son being inside a brain, um, but you don't get the real impression, you have to wear the glasses. Uh, the third one is the Prince Lab, uh, also at Brown University, and we also are, have an invitation to kind of work uh, inside the Prince Lab if, if we want. Um, and the fourth one is uh, Rimosa, it's the Rhode Island Museum of uh, Science and Arts, who have a, a space in, uh, at Westminster Street, and uh, that is another possibility of making a, an intervention. Um, so the studio will consist of individual as well as small group work. Um, the scale of work, I'm uh, open my ears to listen to you uh, if you're in the studio. Uh, what scale I would like to see prototypes, um, but it can be also digital um, uh, or just in mock form. Um, and uh, I'm down there, you kind of see some data topics uh, which would address such prosthetic interactions. Uh, if you're interested, you can go to that site. Uh, it's a Google site from Resty called Prosthetics and Maturity. Is there time for questions? No, you don't have any. <laughs>